Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm here to do a haul from Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Target, and Dollar Tree. I'm going to start with Dollar Tree. I'd uh, seen on a few YouTube videos on a few channels that I follow that they have these stamps from Hampton Arts. So I went to the Dollar Tree near me that I know has a good section for craft supplies. They actually had all of these Hampton Arts stamps. So I didn't think there were this many but I think I may have gotten the whole collection. I got one of each. So I'm just going to go through these real quick. I tried to make sure I didn't pick up any duplicates. Um, they're coloring clear stamps. They don't necessarily have a name. But I do like the little small stamps and the sentiments. And for only a dollar, well not only a dollar because it's a dollar a dollar is a dollar but for a dollar even if I don't use the larger stamps just having these sentiments and these small little cute stamps I think it's worth it they used to have little stamps like this Michaels in the dollar bin so I'm thinking that this is a pretty good deal so this one is with much love for you good times just a little note to say thinking of you and love you and so these sentiments, they don't have to be used with these, the larger graphic stamps. They can just be used for anything. This one, I like this flower and these the smaller stamps I like a lot. And this one could actually work for Valentine's Day if you have time to color in your stamps. This one says, I'm so grateful with heart, heartfelt thanks. This one that looks like and it says you are amazing so kind and these are individual stamps so blooming marvelous beautiful cute this one says be beautiful dream has the exclamation mark live laugh love and the small little stamps and this is what the whole thing looks like this one And this just says happy birthday. There's this one. Life with you is good. And I like the little flowers and the butterfly on this one. Not all of these have a lot of sentiments. But I still think it's totally worth the dollar. Thinking of you with love. Have a great day. Best wishes. It has exclamation points. Two different kinds. The um smiley faces the hearts this one was a really good deal the moon the sun the bird the star the tree the flower very cute and then this one with the rainbows has the dragonfly it's really cute wish you were here good day sunshine you make me smile i think i like this one the best out of them all i even like the the big stamp on this one so they do have Hampton Arts at Dollar Tree. I don't know if this is just a one-time deal or if this is going to be ongoing. I hope it's ongoing and that they offer them more. And I, I really went originally looking for the Heidi Swap items too, but I didn't find any yet. I'll give it a week and try again. Like I said, this particular Dollar Tree that I went to, they usually have, they have a really nice craft section. So, also, from the craft section, I found these wood, wood block stamps. So, I got the butterfly, the flower. I was only going to get two of these originally, and then I said, let me just get the whole set. I'll have the complete set, because I wasn't crazy about this uh, floral one. But... Then I also got the cupcake. That was one of the main ones I wanted. And I had not seen this um, cluster of hearts. But they also had that. So I'm thinking that maybe this is the complete set. And these are Jot Brand wood stamps. Let's pop one open. Just 
just to see. So they are these uh, uh, rubber stamps and I think you can remove them from the block if you want gently and then just use it with your stamp press or whatever you use to stamp if you don't want to use the block. I'll keep mine on the block though. So I picked up those and then I just got a little fun goodie toy for my youngest son. Um, it's growing crystals. I don't even know if this works but he likes science type things so I just grabbed that for him to play around with. Next is Target and I tried to restrain myself in the dollar spot when I went it was pretty well stopped at the at my um, at the Target near me. There's another one that's not near me that's always stopped but I don't go over that way often so and I only go to these stores when I'm already in the general area so I bought more washi tape so I got this just black and white organic lines or organic grid pick that one up I got this thick red it's a glitter tape but it's not very glittery let's open it and have a look so I don't really understand what kind of tape this is it says glitter tape. It's not really shiny glittery. It's like a feels like a sandpaper texture. Let's see if I can get into it. Okay. So this doesn't really look like glitter tape to me. Even though it definitely says glitter tape. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. This looks like I don't know what it looks like. Maybe they forgot to put the glitter on this one. Who knows? I don't know. It can work though. It's not completely ugly. It just doesn't look like a glitter tape. I also got this scallop glitter tape. I'm really into scallops for some reason lately. So thinking of designing some scallop headers for planner stickers to add to my shop so this is what this one looks like let's see if we can get it open okay finally okay so that's what that one looks like it's pretty cute and it does have the a backing on it so you have to peel it let's get the packaging off it, you have to peel it off I guess yeah so it actually is an actual scallop and it's not just on a clear backing so I kind of like that one and you don't get a whole lot on these but and here's the other one that I got I'm not gonna open it. well I'll open it This one is Valentine's specific, I think. I don't know. It just says, I love you. So then I found these other sticker books, like the ones I'd hauled previously. I got two of the gold because they have lots of monochrome or black and white stickers on the inside. And that's mainly what I wanted was the black and white the gold is cool too but I really wanted the black and white so I picked up two of these I picked up these little glitter clips to make some little embellishments with I got this other sticker book that I kept passing up saying oh, I don't need it I don't need it I don't know what it is with me but I just like to have the complete set if I can so I picked this one up and I do use these little dots um, I'll probably have to use a half a dot of these on my memory cards so that I can write on them like which card I use for what recording and blah 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 blah. So that's kind of what I use those for. And this was a total impulse buy. This is totally not worth the three dollars 
in retrospect, but I just, it was a uh, an impulse buy. So it has the stickers, like the, um, just like the stamp I already have. And it has this pen, this little purple washi. Um, and the, this little pack of paper clips. I don't know what I was going through. I think the main thing that I wanted was these um, magnet bookmarks. <laughs> uh, you know, after you buy stuff, you have buyer's remorse. Well, I got a little bit of buyer's remorse on this one, but it's okay. And then this washi tape. And is this the tape that's got the uh, it's got that backing on it too yuck but that's what it looks like and I may just punch this pouch and put it in my planner and use it I have so many pencil cases and pencil pouches and things like that so I'm gonna move on to Hobby Lobby I didn't get much from there I went looking for the clearance happy planner stuff again and they don't have any so I'm done with that but I did pick up this paper pad. It's a six by six Valentine's Day. And I think the two, I got two or three pads last year for Valentine's Day and they were six by six as well. And that's because I don't really make anything. I, don't, I think Valentine's Day is probably one of my least favorite holidays. I don't get into making stuff for Valentine's Day. I don't know why, but, um, I did love this paper and the paper can be used any for any time a lot of it is not Valentine's Day specific it's more planner girl style in my opinion most of it so let's do a quick sh a quick flip through so start from the back it's easier got this marbleized pink and black you get three pages of each turn this down this is, just says love pink and black I think this is one of my favorites the hearts on the black and white stripes this green it's like a golden a mock gold or faux gold foil look but it's not foiled um, this love collage the eyelashes be mine happy Valentine's Day arrows the like they're kind of like conversation hearts And the hexagons with little hearts, the lips, polka dots or random dots, smiley faces, and then some cut up hearts, which are really cute. And then the X and O's. Oh, and then conversation boxes, I guess. So I thought that was cute. And these were 40% off, I believe. And there, um, I think the Valentine's Day stuff was 50% off. So I got these little embellishments. Not too much. And like I said, I wanted things that I could use anytime because I don't really get into Valentine's Day. And then these little foil heart die cuts. And there's 12 in here, which I could cut these myself on the silhouette, but you know. Sometimes you don't always want to just print, cut with the silhouette. Now I'm going to go to move to Joanne. Um, some of these things I probably could have got from Dollar Tree. And I did, um, I do have some more from Dollar Tree that I will share. Because I don't have a Valentine's Day stash. And I don't usually design for Valentine's Day. And this year I'm kind of inspired to do a little something, something for Valentine's Day. I do have... I did buy some embellishments and like I said I try to get stuff that I could use anytime so 
With that said, I got these foam stickers. I think this is overpriced and I paid too much for this. But these are better quality, you'll see why in a minute, than what I saw at Dollar Tree. And I paid $1.50 instead of a dollar, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I thought these were cute with the two-tone hearts and the one that says love and then the one with the scalloped edges. So, I got those. Again, this is Joanne. These conversation hearts, they are foam stickers, by the way, both of these. And they have some glitter, some not. And I got just these plain felt hearts. There was a hundred in here. I'm not a fan of felt. And I'm not a fan of foam either. But I'm going to try and include them. And then I just couldn't pass these up. These are too cute. These little shaker hearts with the glitter on the inside. And they are dimensional. You can see. I thought these were really cute. So I picked those up. And I did I did a thing that so funny. I um went back and forth with Liz for a day when we did our little shopping spree that day about that tiny attacher. I'm like, it's a stapler. No, it's a tiny attacher, she says. I'm like, it's just a stapler. <laughs> well, because I want to do a certain project, I went and got this tiny attacher. So, Liz, you win. I got the tiny attacher that's really a stapler. But I went and picked this up. This is what I went to Joanne to get. So, and I don't remember how much it was or what the discount was, but the Tim Holtz stuff was on sale. So that's why I went ahead and got it. So yes, now I have a tiny attacher stapler. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I was going to remember that forever probably. And then they had the ribbon 85% off. So... I think I paid like 40 cents, 30 cents for these. Let me see. Oh, 59 cents for these ribbons. So I got these Christmas ribbons to put in my stash for next year. Let me show them to you. So I got the buffalo plaid, two buffalo plaids with snowflakes. This one has bows on it. Then I got the black with the red foil trim with snowflakes. And this one is just a basic plaid with gold foil um, highlights in the strings. This one has a deer on a buffalo plaid. And this one is just, uh, I don't know, snowflakes on a red ribbon. <laughs> so I got these and they were... I think they were all 59 cents each. And then here is the last little bit of Valentine's Day that I got, which is from Dollar Tree. I went and got these foam heart stickers. Only because they're just not plain stickers. They have the open hearts and then the curly Q hearts. So I picked that one up. This one has the double punch hearts and it also has the love stickers. And then these are more foam uh, glitter hearts from Dollar Tree. And just the plain foam hearts from Dollar Tree. So I think I'm pretty good on, on Valentine's Day for now. And then I also picked up this two packs of this foam mounting tape. Um, it's already in little squares. So I'll be using this for dimensional projects like cards, tags, whatever. But it's from Dollar Tree and I just want to give it a shot. So that's it for Dollar Tree. Next up is Michaels. Michaels had the um, paper pads and paper products on sale again for $5. So I went back and got these tags that I had looked at before they're a hot buy item and it's five dollars they're very heavy they're 60 in here and they're very cute 
that's what they look like okay and I went back and got these clear stamps because they were only $2.99 and you know I'm a sucker for days of the week and date stamp type things so I picked these up these are really supposed to help you learn um, about hand lettering but I mean they're basically just clear stamps so then that's how I'll probably use them so I got the days of the week the month with the abbreviated month and the full month love these I got the alphabet and then this one um, it's supposed to be traceable quotes um, be brave dream live a simple life hope calm create Believe, imagine, faith, surrender, inhale, exhale, love. I can't see what the one at the very top says, but something is a new day, I think. Um, the be brave, the dream, the hope, create, believe, imagine are my favorite ones and probably the ones that I'll use the most out of here. So, and then I did find, finally, the tiny sticker book which I'm sure everyone has seen flip through on YouTube a lot. So I was happy to finally find this and now I have all the Happy Planner stuff that I want for now. And I can, yeah, call it good. So that's it for this week's haul. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.